Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have another haul video. My last one was an Ulta haul. In that video, I didn't get to show everything that I hauled from Ulta from several different purchases. The video was just pretty long and I had to leave to pick up my daughter from preschool. So I didn't get a chance to actually finish. So I'm in this video, I'm gonna finish hauling some of those items that I purchased from Ulta, but I'm also gonna include a Sephora haul and just some other random things. Some of these things I picked up like on Cyber Monday or Black Friday sales online. And I'm sorry I'm short of breath. I know I mentioned this in my last video, but <laughs> I am 20 weeks pregnant and I am short of breath, especially filming videos for some reason. I don't know if it's cause I'm like talking fast or talking nonstop to myself. Like, you know, if you're talking with somebody else, you get like to pause in between when you're listening to them. Well, when you're talking to the camera, you're just talking on your own. So I feel like I'm never really getting to stop. That's probably why I'm out of breath. I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's jump into the rest of the stuff that I purchased from Ulta. So I got some Japanese brushes. If you guys know me, you know that I love makeup brushes. I have a series on my channel. It's like my favorite makeup brushes. Brushes are jumping out of my hands. <laughs> so I bought some brushes from Japanesque from Ulta. These were actually on sale. I've been wanting these for quite some time and I purchased them when they were like, they might've been like 30% off for some period of time. And I thought, well, you know what? Now's the time to purchase them. And I think I also had 20% off. I had one of those coupons. So I was like, now I'm gonna purchase the brushes that I've been eyeing. So I got three brushes. If you know me, you know I love makeup brushes. I have so many. It's it's ridiculous, but I just love makeup brushes and I really need to declutter some more. I'm most excited about this one, I think. This is the blush brush right here. And I haven't used some of these items in this video. I'm sorry. I, in my last Ulta haul video, I actually used a lot of the products and gave you my mini reviews on them. But in this video, a lot of the stuff I haven't used yet, so I do apologize but I'm not gonna open each one just because this video will be forever long. But it just looks like a nice blush brush. There's one that I really like from Royal and Langnickel. It's, oh gosh, I have so many that are similar. Hold on a second. Okay, it's this one. It's the Chic Rose Gold Blush Brush. So I really like the shape of this one. It just really fluffs the um, blush on and diffuses it. And I feel like the shape is kind of similar. So I don't know, I just thought I would check it out since I got it on sale. I'll probably use these like in an upcoming video or something, like a tutorial. I've been trying to link all the brushes that I use when I do a tutorial or get ready with me just because I get a lot of questions like what brush are you using and I never used to mention the brushes but now I'm trying to be really good about listing all the brushes that I use in videos and it's very time consuming but I'm doing it for you guys because you know, it's, I know it's helpful for real. Like when I watch videos of people doing makeup, I'm like, oh, what brush is that? And some people tell what brushes they use and some people don't. So I think it, it is helpful when you do mention. Um, so this one right here is the high density foundation brush. This is the small version. You know what? I should just, I should just take these out. Packaging. I mean, it feels extremely soft. And I think these had pretty good reviews, which is also why I picked them up. And they do have these in my local store and I was able to touch some of them. So they have a little like key ring with all of the brushes like hung on them. So this one right here is the high density foundation brush. So this is the big one. And then this is the smaller version. So I got both of them, wanted to check it out. I mean, it feels really soft. I'm kind of wondering though, I'm feeling like this is gonna be a little bit too dense. If it's really dense, I like it to have a little bit of movement. Like, I don't like it to move too much, but I don't like it to be really stiff where it doesn't move at all. And I don't know, this one, I feel like this one might not have enough movement for me. And I feel like this one's gonna be perfect because it. I feel like the bristles have a little bit of leeway there. So we'll see. Did I show this in my last video? I don't think I did. This is the Smashbox, the Kelly Contour Shape Bronze and Glow Palette. This is the packaging right here. It's very like slim and sleek, which I like. It comes with a full size mirror. And then these are all the shades that you get in here. So you get like a contour, a bronze, a matte highlight, a blush, two highlighters. Um, the bottom one here is definitely gonna be too dark on my complexion, but I might be able to mix it with the bronze color and uh, use it more as a bronzer. And then the top highlighter shade, it might be a little too dark too as well. 
which kind of stinks. I think I've used the bronzer and the contour shade in this palette. I don't think I've used anything else. So those are all the shades right there. I mean, I've heard good things about it, but I'm pretty light complected, so <laughs> might be a little dark for me. Let's see, I'll have to play with this. I really like this Maybelline Brow Mascara. It is the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. I have the shade in Soft Brown. This is my second one. I've already used up one of these, and I really like it. Um, at first I thought it was kind of weird because the applicator is a little bit flat and then one side has the little spikes, like the brow, brow spoolie or whatever. And so the shape of it was just kind of weird, but I really like the way it makes my eyebrows look. I, I'm into that feathery eyebrow look right now, so I picked up another one of these. And I also, in one of these Ulta hauls, I picked up this one, which I have been using, and I really, really like this. It's the Alme Brow Styler. And I have the shade in light brown. And this has a very, so this has a very, very thin, skinny wand. But I really like this wand because it literally combs through every hair that I have. My eyebrow hairs are a little bit sparse, so it combs through every hair that I have. So it, you can see, like I feel like it looks like I have more hair because you can see all the brow hairs. Like it literally fills them in and kind of lifts them. I feel like it makes my brows look fuller. I feel like my brows have been looking fuller lately. <laughs> but I really like this. Um, I don't think it's like a super strong hold brow mascara, but I don't really have issues with my brows budging a whole lot. So if you're looking for a new brow mascara, I do like this one. If you want something that's like a mega hold brow mascara, I would say skip it. But if you don't care about that and you want something that's really gonna like emphasize every hair that you have on your brows, check this out, I think it's really good. So I picked up two eyeshadow palettes here from Ulta. This is the Anastasia Sultry palette. In the past, I've gotten rid of some of my Anastasia palettes. Some of the older ones, like the ones she first came out with, I got rid of all of those because I never used them. Um, but I really like these shades. Like they're very neutral, very everyday. Some people said this palette is like boring looking, but I just love metallics and mattes and I feel like that's everything you get in here. Plus they're all neutral and Never go wrong with a bunch of neutrals. So, I haven't played with this yet. I can't wait to use it. Maybe I'll start using it this week. But I really love the packaging. So bronzy and glittery and so pretty. I also picked up the Dose of Colors Friend, Cation, Desi, and Katie palette. I've been trying to be really good and not make so many Ulta purchases until I get a coupon. Like when I get a 20% off coupon, like they have another one out right now that expires, I believe at the end of December. And I have, I already have things in my shopping cart, but I'm like holding off until I actually wait a little longer, you know, if they have some new arrivals that I really want, then I'll end up picking up those with the 20% off. But um, packaging reminds me of like one of the Tarte blush palettes from a long time ago. And these colors look really pretty. I haven't used this yet. And I picked up this Alme Velvet Foil Cream Shadow and I could not find this for the longest time but it was buried on the bottom of one of these bins of like products that I'm trying to haul for you guys. So it kind of got lost in the mix and I haven't used it yet. But I remember when I swatched this on my IG stories, I don't know, I just thought it was gonna be very disappointing. So these are new, they have several different shades. I got the one in Astro Girl, and I just was thinking the color was gonna be different than it is. If you guys have tried these, what are they called, the Alme? I always wanna say Alme, is it Alme or Alme? Alme? Velvet Foil Cream Shadow. I don't know. I'm not sure about the texture. It's very, it's very soft, but I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like that wouldn't be very intense on the eyes, but again, I haven't used it on the eyes, so I can't really say, so I'll have to let you guys know. So with one of my Ulta purchases, I had a gift with purchase, um, one of those ones you can add to your basket. I think it was like, you spend $75 or something like that, you could get this free gift. I mean, look at this. These are samples. This is huge. This is so good. So many things. I haven't even gone through here. I'll probably give away some of this stuff because 
a lot of times I get samples and I never use them and so I just give a lot of stuff away to my mom and I let her give it away to like her friends or people she knows that are in need so a lot of these I will probably give away but I am going to go through it to see what I want to pick out. It did come in a little glittery makeup bag which I'll also be giving away because I don't need any more makeup bags but this is this is a lot of stuff. That was pretty much it for the Ulta portion of the haul. I have some stuff from Sephora just from other websites so like I made a purchase through Elsie Cosmetics. Um, I don't think I've purchased from Elsie before. I think this is my first is this my first purchase? I think it is. So I got the Minimalist Mauve Series palette. Because you guys know I love mauves. Like, look at my eyes. This is like one of my favorite eye combination looks. Like all matte, mauve purples, like a light lid. I just, I love it. I'll show you what I'm wearing at the end of this video. In case you are curious, I have not used this palette yet. These colors, like, these are my colors right here. How beautiful they are they're all matte you have like a light shade a dark shade crease colors like so pretty can't wait to use that and then I picked up one of their new highlighters I've heard mixed reviews about these but I want to try it for myself so picked it up and the packaging's pretty I mean it looks pretty it has a full-size mirror the packaging reminds me of Natasha Denona a little bit like the super glow packaging so, and they have several shades of this. I got Pearly Glaze, I think is the lightest shade. I mean, it has a nice light, like super thin. Yeah, I think I'm gonna love this actually. <laughs> it has a very, very thin, silky consistency. And the ones that have that very thin texture that are not powdery, those are the ones that sit on my skin the best. Like they don't emphasize texture or pores. Um, today I'm wearing a NARS, I'll show you later, but I'm using a NARS highlighter that I like, but this one seems, you know what, I'm just going to put a little bit more on because I feel like the NARS one's pretty subtle. So I don't know why I have this thing about trying on highlighters. I have this thing about trying on highlighters when I'm filming a video. I feel like every single video I'm like, oh, let me try on this highlighter. I don't know. I guess it's easier than being like, let me try on some eyeshadow when you already have eyeshadow or let me try on bronzer when I already have bronzer on, you know what I mean? So... I'm gonna take the Moda Pro from Royal Ling Nickel Glow Brush. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can tell I'm gonna like this. Some people were saying, I think they were that these are powdery, but when I'm using it with a brush in here, I can see what they're saying, but I think it's because the formula is so finely milled. It's so thin. Like, it's just so thin and smooth. So I don't think it looks powdery on the skin whatsoever. It looks very, very nice and it's nice and thin. So I like the way it sits on my skin. I think I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna move on to my Sephora purchases. I purchased some stuff a few different times like the Sephora Rouge sale. This is the second sale they had where it's $25 off your purchase. So I have a few different orders from Sephora. But I picked up this, this is the Belief Mary Mary moisturizers like bundle and I got this because of Tara babies here on YouTube I will link her channel down below I'm sure a lot of you guys know who she is but I bought this because of her she seems to really like this belief what is it the true cream moisturizing balm I've never tried it before and I don't show a whole lot of skincare on my channel um, I kind of try to stick to a lot of the same things. I do buy stuff here and there, but I don't know. Skincare is just kind of boring to me, to be honest with you. So it comes with a full size of the facial moisturizer right here. It's the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Then it has the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm, which I'm really excited to try. And then this fell out. This is the Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask. So I believe the other two products in here are not full size, just the like face moisturizers full size. But I'm excited to try that because I feel like Tara always has really good recommendations. So definitely want to give that a try. If you guys have used it, let me know what you think. Curl really well. So I picked up the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Duos. I picked these up a while ago actually and I haven't used them yet. Now I'm not gonna use these as a highlighter, but 
I was really, really intrigued with the shades and I swatched them in store. And so I figured that I could use them as an eyeshadow because they just are such pretty colors. This is my first Fenty Beauty purchase. This one is Sandcastle and Minty Mojito. And packaging's pretty, but these colors are so beautiful. I mean, look at this. Do you see that? Oh, so, that, it looks gorgeous. Oh, yeah. You guys, like, these are gonna make beautiful eyeshadows. Yeah. I know Tara Baby mentioned these a while ago, and uh, that's what she uses them for, is eyeshadows. <laughs> Those are beautiful. And then this one here is Seven Day Weekend in Poolside. Look at these colors. They are so pretty. You guys know I love purple. It's my favorite color. I mean, almost like a periwinkle purple. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Those metallics are really pretty. So I can't wait to use those. So I picked up a few Natasha Denona palettes. This one is the Camel palette. I have not used this one yet, but these colors just look great for every day. There are three mattes and two shimmers and it just looks so beautiful. I can't wait to try this out. And then I picked up the Natasha Denona Safari palette. I just started using this one this past week. I've done two or three looks with it. I still need to play with it some more. But I just, I love that they're all matte and I love all the colors in here. Some of the colors are pretty unique, especially these three greenish ones, gray ones up at the top. So, so far I'm really liking it. I used this blue one day and I feel like the blue was a little bit patchy. I did have to build it up quite a bit, but I feel like that could be kind of true to a matte dark blue shade anyway. But as far as the rest of the shades, I didn't really have any issues with them. Of course I haven't used every single shade, but I'm, I'm liking this one so far, but I do need to play with it some more. And then the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, I had played with it quite a bit like several weeks ago, and I really like this palette. I've used every single shade. I've done several different looks with this palette, and I really, really like it. Some people don't think these palettes are worth the money because they are expensive, but I think if you break it down per shadow, I don't know how much, let me see. Let me see how much it is when you break it down. If you break it down by how many shadows are in here, each shadow would cost $8.60. And I think that is worth the money if you like the majority of the shadows in the palette. Now, if you don't think you're gonna like a lot of the shadows, then I would say skip. But if you think you're gonna love pretty much all of the shadows in here, then I would say it's worth the money for sure because each individually, you know, they cost $8.60 which is not a bad price because you buy one Anastasia eyeshadow and what is that, like $12 or something like that? You buy one Makeup Forever shadow, isn't that like 20 something dollars? You know what I mean? So there are different finishes in here. So there's some mattes, there's some like glitters, some eye toppers, some metallics. So just a lot of different finishes. I definitely don't think this is a palette for everybody because of the different finishes. You just have to know that there are different finishes going into this palette. So like for instance, this one's like more of an eye topper. It doesn't really have a base color. It's just more of like really fine micro shimmers, but I've been enjoying it. I've done, like I said, several different looks with it and I really, really like it. I purchased several different things from Jouer. This one I got at Sephora and it's currently on sale, which kind of irks me because I haven't even used this yet and now I saw it on the sales section. I don't remember how much, I think it's usually like 50, maybe $59 and I think it was like $38 or something. I was like, oh, should I return this and then repurchase it? Cause you know, I'd rather get on sale, but I might've used my 20% off Rouge coupon with this. I don't remember. Oh no. Okay, so I had already made my Rouge purchases when they had the 20% off. And then when that ended, this came on the new arrivals and so I purchased it. And then I think it was the end of that week or maybe even the next day, they advertised that they were having the $25 off when you spend 75 or something like that. I was like, are you serious? Of course I go and buy something and then another coupon comes. But I was like, I'm not gonna bother returning it and going through the whole process. So I just kept it. This looks absolutely stunning. It's called Making Magic Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette. 
gift set. I have not used this yet. The other Jouer products that I purchased, I got on the Jouer website because they were having Black Friday Cyber Monday deals. I think they were having 30% off. These look incredibly stunning. They're all metallic, which you guys know, I don't mind an all metallic palette. I will bring in a matte palette and use it with a metallic palette. I do not have an issue with that. Some people do not like an all shimmery palette, but I don't mind because I love mattes and I love metallics. So for instance, I could use that Natasha Denona palette with this, the matte one. And then it comes with this. This is the eye topper, just like a black base with gold, gold silver glitters in there. I didn't buy these, like I said, at Sephora, but I bought them at the, on the Jouer website. So I got the, what are these called? I threw away the packaging. I don't know, it's like the bronzer duo. They have two shades and I got the light to medium duo. So it's sunlight and sun tan. And I've used this and I really like it. I love the packaging. I love the packaging. The formula is really nice and smooth. Blends out nicely on the skin. It's nice and light, like you're hardly gonna see it, but I like that nowadays on my face just cause I don't wanna go too heavy with the bronzer. So I really like that. And this is what the outside packaging looks like, so pretty. And then I purchased the Rose Gold Blush Duo. So when this first came out, this blush duo was actually sold out and the only way to get it at the time, and I was so impatient that I purchased a set where you get this and then you get the Rose Gold Highlighter, which I knew that I probably wouldn't love the Rose Gold Highlighter, so I don't know why I did that, but I was like, oh well, I want the duo so bad that I just, I pulled the trigger and bought the set, so. This has marigold and rose petal. So this is marigold here. This is rose petal here. And I've used this a few times and I do, I really like it. Even mixing the two shades together. So these are the two shades. The bottom one has a sheen to it, like a gold sheen. And then the other one has, it's almost like a matte base with like little shimmers in it. So you might wanna say it's a satin, but anyway, I like that, I've used it. And then I purchased three of the concealers. First, I purchased one and I thought that it wasn't brightening enough under my eyes. So when they had the 30% off for like Cyber Monday or Black Friday, I ended up buying two more shades. I love this concealer a lot. Like it's really, really good. It has great coverage. It blends out very easily. It does not crease under my eyes. It holds up well throughout the day. I just think it's a really awesome concealer. These are made in Korea. I like the packaging. It's just sleek. You get 0.139 fluid ounces in here. So I have this shade Chiffon Lace and Cream Cafe. So I got Cream Cafe first, but I feel like it's a little, little dark. Like it's not brightening enough on my skin. Probably blends in with my skin, if anything. So then I bought these two. And I think Cream Cafe, Creme Cafe, it has um, a neutral undertone. And then I bought Chiffon. And these do, so this is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I don't know if I told you that. It says cre Creaseless Soft Matte Hyaluronic Acid. Um, so the shade Chiffon here is more of a yellow undertone. And then the Lace shade that I got is more of a pink undertone. Yeah, you can definitely see the undertones are definitely different on all of these. And I believe all of these fall in the light category. They have them categor categorized, ugh. they have them categorized by fair, light, light, medium, medium, and deep or something like that. Something like that. But these are the three that I picked up and yeah, I'm, I'm digging, digging it. So I think my favorite is the more yellow toned one here. That one is one that works best for me. So with that rose gold blush duo, it came with this rose gold powder highlighter. And yeah, I don't, did I even swatch this? I haven't swatched this, you guys, cause I don't think I'm gonna like it. Uh, let's just swatch it. Oh, maybe I will, I don't know. Ooh, that's really pretty, it has a nice texture. I like the Jouer, like I have their original highlights. And I really like them, but then I heard Kathleen Light say she repurchased the one she liked or something and the formula didn't seem the same. So I don't know, but um, it feels really smooth, like my other ones. See, I don't know though, because it pulls a little bit too golden, where I don't like that super yellow gold on me. It just doesn't suit my skin tone well. 
So I don't know, if I don't like it, I'll just probably sell it. And then lastly from Jouer, I picked up their Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. Now the reason I purchased this is because I had a bunch of samples and I applied one before work one day. I was like, wow, this has extremely crazy coverage. Like I barely put any on my face and it covered my entire face. I really liked the way that it looked on my skin. And then when I went to work, I was like faxing something and this girl at the front desk, she was like, wow, what makeup do you wear? Your face looks so like smooth. And I was like, oh, like my foundation? She goes, yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm like, it's this Jouer foundation. I had a sample of it and this is the first time I'm trying it out. She goes, wow, it, your, your skin looks so amazing. And I was like, well, thanks. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy that foundation on the 30% off Cyber Monday deal. So I did get it. I have used it. I used the sample several times and I have mixed feelings about this foundation, to be honest with you. I don't know, I feel like it looks better sometimes than other times. So here's the packaging right here. So I like that you get a lot of coverage, but it feels lightweight and it's, it has a very like liquidy consistency. So you wouldn't think it would be full coverage because of the consistency being so runny, but I mean, it, it's, but seriously you guys, this is extremely full coverage. I have to really make sure I don't apply that much onto my face because a little dot will literally cover like my entire face or at least half of my face. And so I haven't tried it with like a wet sponge yet. I've just tried it with a brush. And it's like I like the way it looks sometimes but not other times. I feel like sometimes it makes my nose look a little bit dry. And then I don't like throughout the day how it gets around the sides of my nose. I feel like it starts breaking down. So I don't know, I need to play with this some more, but I don't know, the girl said it looked fantastic on me, so I'll just have to keep seeing if I like it. But it has chamomile extract, cucumber extract, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, tripeptide complex, paraben-free, matte, oil-free, and dermatologist tested. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I need to play with it and see. If you guys have tried this, and you love it, let me know. Or if you don't like it, let me know. I got two brushes from Sephora. So this is the Sephora Pro Angle Diffuser number 60. I just, I like that it's like a duo fiber. It has a little bit of a dip in there. It's not like a straight cut. And it's not like super dense. I don't know, it's so soft. So soft, like it looks like it would apply blush nicely. I don't know, it has good reviews. And then the other one is the Pro Diffuser number 64. So I thought I would try this for like liquid foundation. Again, it's like a duo fiber brush. It's extremely soft. It's like the perfect density. Like it's not too dense, not too flimsy. I don't know, well, we'll see. Maybe it'd work better for like a powder foundation. Today, I actually have concealer and just like a powder on. I don't have liquid foundation. Some days I feel like I want to switch to that. I feel like as I've gotten older, sometimes I like the way just powder and concealer look without the liquid foundation. I don't know. I'm liking the way my makeup, I'm liking the way my skin looks. It looks smooth. I feel like with liquids they can settle, you know, into your fine lines or pores and just accentuate texture. Whereas with the powder, I just feel like it looks smoother. So I've heard people rave about the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. I do not feel like this particular one is worth the money. I don't know if it's the color I got or if they're all like this, but I just feel like my L'Oreal, let me get it, hold on, let me show you. I feel like these colors are very similar, if not identical. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. So these are very old school, they've been around forever. I don't know if you can find these just anywhere, but I do still see them at Walmart all the time. And I hope they don't discontinue them because they're so good. I still have all mine, but this one is in Amber Rush. This was a very popular shade back in the day. I feel like the L'Oreal one is definitely much better than the Hourglass one, which I believe this one cost $28 or $29. And when I put it on, I was like, that's it, ugh. Like, I was like, that looks exactly like Amber Rush from L'Oreal, which is probably like eight or eight dollars or something. So, I mean, it was pretty, don't get me wrong. I just wish it was a little more intense. 
I mean, right now it's looking more intense than when I first used it. I used it two days in a row actually to work. And then let me get the L'Oreal one. Maybe the difference is one's more like a pressed pigment and the other one's, the Hourglass one is um, described as a glitter eyeshadow. So the colors are very, very, very similar. Do you see that? This is the L'Oreal and this is the Hourglass. You can definitely see that the Hourglass one has micro shimmers in it, whereas the L'Oreal one does not, but it is more intense and more pigmented and more metallic, more reflective, I feel. I don't know, I just, I just don't feel like the Hourglass one was worth it for me. Like when I put it on, I was like, Amber Rush is better than this. I knew immediately Amber Rush was very similar in the shade anyway. If you guys have another shade of this and you really love it, let me know. I kind of wanted the taupe one because I love taupes, but I thought I would go with this one. And I think they described it as a champagne shade or something like that, which is more rose gold than anything. But ooh, I need to pull out Amber Rush. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so I do have more things. I'm just going to show this one last palette and then I'm going to cut the video off here. Uh, I do have some other things I will show you in another video. I might label that one like drugstore haul video because there's more drugstore products. So this is the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. This is the Unicarton right here. And then this is the actual packaging. It's supposed to look like velvety, which it's not, but it looks like it. So all these colors excite me except for like two. <laughs> so... I don't know, this one kind of doesn't excite me and this one, I'm not like really into like super cranberry reddish shades. I don't know, maybe once I put them on my eyes, I'll change my mind. But, so all the other shades I'm really drawn to, but for some reason those two shades, I'm just like, hmm, but we shall see. I totally forgot about this one. You guys, I have an eyeshadow addiction. You guys have no idea how bad it is. It's bad, it is bad. I really need to go through my eyeshadow palettes and start decluttering some. So this is the Huda, Bo Huda Booty. Huda, I feel like that's such a hard word to like say over and over. Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty. It always comes out Huda Booty. Huda Booty. So this is the new, new Nudes. New Nudes palette. I have not used this yet. But you guys know how I feel about these colors. These are my colors. These are totally my colors. These purpley mauve shades. Oof. I just, and then these shimmery ones, they look so cool. I will say though, I really wish, like I haven't used this palette yet, but I really wish they would have substituted this concealer shade for a shadow as well as these two glitter shades. I don't know, those are just my opinions. I just feel like I probably won't want to use the concealer and then the glitter shades, I don't really use a lot of like pressed glitters or loose glitters. I like like cream shadow glitters, but I don't know. I just feel like they should have replaced them with something like that. But that's just my opinion. Some people might really like the glitters, but I can't wait to use this because it is so beautiful looking. Guys, that wraps up this video. I am gonna tell you what I'm wearing on my face and then I'm gonna I'm gonna exit, exit on out. So um so I have on the Jouer concealer. I have on chiffon, which is the more yellow toned one. I have that under my eyes, around my nose, a little on my forehead and my chin. And then for powder, I use the Collab Makeup Kill the Shine Press Powder. This is a little bit darker and I feel like it gives color to my face when I look very pale. Um, so I use that just all over my face. For bronzer, I use the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer that I cannot put down. Talked about this in a favorites video. It just, it's, I love the color. It blends out so good. For highlighter, I used the NARS Capri highlighter. This is one of their newer highlighters they came out with. This one is more pink. I do have another one that's more champagne gold looking. These have a very thin consistency. I've heard mixed reviews about these, but, and you know what, when I swatch in my finger, I feel like it almost feels like it's gonna be a hard pan, but when I use it with a brush, I think it's totally fine. Can you guys see that? It's very, almost very sheer, but I thought it sat on my skin very well. I've been using this a lot, I really like these. So for blush, I use my Pixi Glow Cake in Pink Champagne Glow. 
this one right here. I just kind of dipped into the middle right here because my face was so matte from that powder that I put on. I wanted to put on something a little bit more sheeny on my cheeks. So this definitely has a sheen to it and I like it. So for my eyes, I use my new Profusion Velvet Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I picked this up at Target. They did send me a PR package with a few of their new holiday 2018 products. And when I went to Target, I saw the rest of the collection. They have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I was really drawn to this all matte palette. I feel like there's a lot you can do with this because there's warms, neutrals, uh, cool tones. There's also light shades, darker shades. So today, I used these three bottom colors right here. So I have this in my crease, this on the outer corner. Oh, you know what? I don't even think, did I put this one on? I don't know if I use this one, to be honest. I might've just used those two. And then I use this very light shade up here. It has a little bit of a pink undertone and I put that on the lid. And that's all I got going on on the eyes today, you guys. I've been enjoying that a lot. And then for lipstick, I pulled out this Milani matte naked lipstick it's called matte naked and i had never used it before but this is like my kind of color it's like a mauve and it's so creamy and smooth i think i recently purchased this because i was like this is this a new shade i don't recall having this shade and it's my kind of color feels good on the lips that's what it looks like right there so i think oh and mascara I have on the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which I just started using today. I think I used it earlier and then I washed my face to redo my makeup and I'm using this today. So far I like it, but I think I like my Lash Princess better. I feel like this one's getting clumpy quickly. I got that one in a boxy charm. And for eyeliner, I use the Pretty Vulgar, the Ink Blackest List Gel Eyeliner. Cute little package. Um, I got this in a boxy charm a while ago and I really like it. I thought it applied easily. All right guys, so that wraps up this haul. I have another one I will be doing. Like I said, I'll probably make that one more drugstore since I feel like the rest of the products in the box here are drugstore products. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want me to do like a tutorial or like a review on specific things, let me know. If not, then I won't. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.